This is going to be the femur, just so you guys know. I'm going to have um, different sides, left and right. Um, the parts that you're going to know is the head. That's going to be this round structure right here. I have um, a budget-friendly bone and a less budget-friendly bone, just so you guys can tell the difference. So the head's right here, head's right here. Your neck is going to be directly below the head. It's going to be this area right through here. We're going to have to go to your fovea capitis. It's kind of like fovea. It's actually quite hard to say. It's going to be this little depression right through here. This is where ligament attaches. On our other bone, you're going to notice it right through here. Next, we're going to go to our uh, greater trochanter. So right now, we are in the anterior view. You can notice how smooth it is. We're going to go to the posterior view to see it. So this is the posterior view. Your greater trochanter is going to be this large growth right here. And then on the other model, it's going to be this large growth right, growth right here. Then we have our lesser trochanter. That's going to be this little bulb right down here and this little bulb right down here. Next, we're going to have our gluteal tuberosity. So some of you in class may have thought this little tiny divot is going to be, or this little pronounced bit, but it's actually going to be this large area here. So a quarter of the gluteal um, muscle actually attaches, so it's going to include this whole area. Okay? Uh, next, we're going to have our, so on the posterior side, you notice your lena aspera. That is going to be this line. So if you look kind of toward the side down here, you're going to notice a ridge. It is the ridge and it does long, uh, run a good length of the actual femur. So noticing it on this other budget friendly model, it's not as pronounced, but you can kind of see the ridge. Next, we're going to go to our medial and lateral epicondyles. So we know that the head is the medial. It fits in the acetabulum of the coxal bone. We're going to go down to the medial epicondyle. So if you notice this round area, so epi in this case we're going to be referring to above the condyle. Then we're going to have our lateral epicondyle. So it's this little pronounced area here. Then we're going to go to our lateral epicondyle. So you notice epicond oh, sorry, condyles tend to be points of articulation. So this is where you're going to articulate with the, um, with the tibia. So lateral, medial. We know it's medial because we're under the head. And that's it.